Welcome to another video on Profit and Equities. In this video, we'd be talking about Vijay Kedia's top 4 small cap picks for 2019. Please watch this video to know more about these stocks. Now the first stock on the list is Repro India Limited which is his holding for some time now and the price for the stock is 594.80. The face value for it is 10. The symbol for it is REPRO. Now Repro India Limited is a provider of content, print and fulfillment solutions and is engaged in the printing of magazines and other periodicals, books and brochures, maps, atlases, posters and others. Now as is evident from the one year chart, the company has been a huge laggard and a lot of wealth has been destroyed here. The company is a small cap with a market capitalization of 683.80 crores. The EPS of 24.27 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 24.51 which is much more expensive when compared with the industry PE of 11.33. The price to book ratio of 2.75 however is not wildly expensive. The company has a debt to equity of 0.4485 whereas the return on equity for the stock is 0.1213. Repro India does not pay out any dividends and the promoter holding here is just about average at 55.33%. Now the second stock on the list is Vivo Global Limited which is available at Rs. 718.85 and the face value for it is 10. The symbol for it is VAI DHAV GBL. Now Vivo Global Limited is a holding company and is an electronic retailer of fashion jewelry and lifestyle accessories. As is evident from the one year chart, the company has not really done much and is closing the year at almost the same level that it started it. The company has a market cap of 2348.34 crores, which means that the company is a small cap one. The EPS of 8.89 translates into a very expensive price to earnings ratio of 80.86 when compared with the industry PE of 21.21. The price to book ratio of 4.32 is also on the higher side. The company has a debt to equity of 0.1122 whereas the return on equity for this stock is a strong number and stands at 0.2648. Viva Global does not pay out any dividends and the promoter holding here is another strong factor and stands at 65.36%. The third stock on the list is Everest Industries Limited which is available at Rs 514.30 and the face value for it is 10. The symbol for it is E-V-E-R-E-S-T-I-N-D. Now Everest Industries Limited is engaged in the manufacturing and trading of building products such as roofing products, boards and panels, other building products and accessories and also in the manufacturing and erection of pre-engineered steel buildings and directed accessories. As is evident from the one year chart, the company had a capitulation towards the middle of the year. However, it has again recovered currently. The company is a small cap again with a market capitalization of 804.18 crores. The EPS of 43.05 translates into a dirt cheap price to earnings ratio of 11.95 when compared with the industry PE of 18.07. The price to book ratio of 2.03 is also on the cheaper side. The company has a debt to equity of 0.7367 whereas the return on equity for this stock stands at a figure of 0.0309. The company has a dividend yield of 1.26% whereas the promoter holding is a below average number and stands at 48.13%. Now the final stock on the list is Sudarshan Chemical Industries Limited which is available at Rs. 341.45 and the face value for it is 2. Now this is a holding company and is a color and effect pigment manufacturer. It operates through various segments which include pigments, agrochemicals and others. Now this company has also not created any major wealth for its shareholders. Now this company is also a small cap with a market capitalization of 2,363.76 crores. The EPS of 24.04 translates into a very cheap price to earnings ratio of 14.20 when compared with the industry PE of 23.18. The price to book ratio of 5.22 is however on the higher side. The company has a dividend yield of 1.03% whereas the promoter holding is just about average at 52.89%. Now friends, a word of caution. Vijay Kedia himself said that even though he is talking about these stocks, he may go ahead and sell it at any instant and hence it is imperative that we go ahead and do our own research and base our investment decisions on our opinions. Please don't consider this to be a recommendation on our part. Please go ahead and do your own research. This and all of the content that you see on our channel is intended to be a piece of news. Thanks for watching and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so.